guys, it's me, Nels the Awesome. I'm here, and welcome back with episode 95 of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, where I just went to get my horse from this guy, because this is a mini stable, and he's just giving me a pony point. I forgot about that. Um, so let me take a horse from the mini stable. Let's take a Pona. Pona's the classic horse. Everyone's in a commotion here at Lookout Landing 2. Lots of talk about the Demon King reviving and the like. The horses must have picked up on the fusk, because they're all in a tizzy. I see. What about you, Epona? You in a tizzy? Hi, right, Carson. I'm trying to go out this way real quick, so I'm just going to go check out Misko's treasure. Sure. Right across the bridge over here. Pona's a good horse because she's fast. Ah, oh, is that you? Oh, Pona. Well, I had one episode without you on it. You're back. Of course you are. So let's get this. Oh, sorry, Pona. This, oh, Master Sword is back. See? Master Sword got destroyed at the end of the last episode and it's already back. Okay. So you see this? Now this should be fairly easy. I want to attach this here. That's not high enough. How about, how about this? Mm, just maybe. Aha. Uh -huh. So go like this. This is well for stability. Let's see. Try letting go. Ah. I don't fail. President will be standing. Get that fastened. And okay. All right. Give me my 20 rupees. Give me my meal. And a puff shroom. Okay. Ah. I still got more places to go. Man. Okay. I'm, I'm not going to get all of those signs before the end of this series, am I? Hey, Pona. Yeah. <laughs> I love doing that. I love jumping on the horse as they run up to you. So good. Right. There's also this Korra with a plane and a rocket, huh? How far is your friend? Over there. That's actually kind of where I need to go. So, okay. Yeah, that's that's really easy. I don't mind this one. <laughs> and a fan. I don't even need a fan. The only fans I need are whoever's watching this video right now. There we go. Boom. Yeah, that was like the easiest Korok here. Thanks for being my friend. Yeah, two Korok seats. I've been very, very good with the Koroks recently. And this guy's treasure is right on over here. There's even a, uh, whatever. Whiz robe. I don't care. Whiz robes are still the most underused enemy in this game and I wish they dropped something cooler. Oh, come on. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> Key's eyeballs. Even Key's wings are useful. You guys saw in the last episode how useful Key's eyeballs are. If you didn't see that in the last episode, then, oh, that's too bad. All right. Let's go in here. Collect some luminous stone. Why is this so hard to mine? What's going on with this? Jeez. They didn't even give me any luminous stone. Let's go with his cloth. Chest is nearby down below. Why? There's so much luminous. So much. What's going on around here? Come on. Can you know about help me out? Oh, man. I'm getting flint. Come on. Silver Horbin Smasher is badly damaged. I'm actually finally back at a point in the game where I'm kind of getting desperate for weapons. What is over here? Oh, a talus. One, it's stone talus. North of Califoil. Oh, okay. Dang. It, that would have been nice if this was it's just so happened to be the same talus. Hunter can help me out with mining this stuff even though I'm wasting the Flux Contract 3. I hear Bubble Frog over there. Bubble Frog. Man, that's the most obvious talus I've ever seen. Except for the taluses that are literally just, uh, like, walking around. Yeah. Hello. I'm gonna climb you. I'm gonna do this. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's do this. Oh, this is my six stages weapon. <laughs> there we go. Uh, seven sages or whatever. There we go. Now we do this. Okay. Only 27 damage, but not bad. It's good for mining ores. Like this one. Okay. The chest is above. There's a chest above me. It's in here? Is there an entrance? No. What about up here? Aha. This is the cave entrance. You know that's where the Misco thing is. The bubble frog was already here, just in the main cave. That's something you never see. Okay. Come over here. Aha. On flowers and the Misco's treasure. That's it. Barbarian armor. Armor once favored by an ancient warlike tribe from the Farron region. <laughs> the ancient warlike tribe was once theorized to be like the Zonai, but I'm feeling it's probably a different tribe then. Or maybe it's a branch of the Zonai that were warlike. I don't know. It's cool. Not as cool as this, or it's cool. I'll wear it since I got it. What goes good with it? <laughs> nah. That's kind of funny. It's kind of cool. Still a chest that's above as well. What's above me? Is it a monster camp? Um, it is simply just something buried here. Uh, what used to be a monster camp? Oh, you know what? I'll take a royal claymore. Yeah, it's a skull. I don't know if this used to be a monster camp in Breath of the Wild, or maybe that was just there. I don't know. There's also a lot of tree stumps here, but I think I've already been here. Oh, okay. Maybe not here specifically. Hello. Hi. Let's, uh, let's spam bombs on you. It's the best way to take out these guys, you know. That always will be the best way to take out these guys. There we go. Oh, I was just with some better armor. Like this, this, and I need the lightning helm because it's currently thundering. Oh, ho, 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 ho. come on. Oh, you got a club. You know, I'm kind of, I'm kind of needing weapons right now. Oh, ouch. You know what? I need to flurry rush you. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Hello, Phantom Ganon. You missed me. Oh, it would be cool if I could take him out with a lightning. Ow. Boom. 
Boom! Oh, I didn't get him. I didn't take him out with the lightning, but the lightning happened right as he died. My sages took him out, which is fine. I like my sages, but okay. <laughs> it's always good to know that there's a guy there. Ooh, Heracuda parts. Give me these. What's the story behind these giant tree logs? Oh, a shrine. Ren is shrine. Okay, glad I looked in here. Let's actually do the shrine. Good to know. I mean, if I did just look on the map, I would have found it. Jump the gaps. All right. The gaps we're trying to jump. Oh. Oh. Ah. It's a ball and hole type of goal. So let's have this. Activate this. Should go well. There we go. Aha. And there we go. Open up the gate to the next area where a chest awaits me. Oh, oh that's a big slide. Okay, this time, getting these. I'm not putting them there. I'm actually going over here. Using these as a bridge. Not a bridge. I could just do the ultra hand recall thing. You know what? Let's cheese the shrine by doing that. You know, I haven't done that in a while. <laughs> but I also haven't done the shrine in a while, so... But I could be wrong, hasn't it? Was isn't it been like episode seventy something and since I've last done a shrine? Feels like it. Man, I got a bunch of shields. Gotta get rid of this one though. Sorry, lady, the shield you gave me sucked. Okay, so now we just build a ramp, which is real uber mega easy. See that? If it's down here, whoa! <laughs> and there it goes. Ready for this to open? Yeah, pretty easy shrine. Okay, now give him my light of blessing. Oh, and heal me. Very good. There's a like like in here, which I can tell because it's noticing me through walls. So rock like. Hello, rock like. Let's use a bomb on you. <laughs> and uh, let's do another bomb. Oh, ow. <laughs> Boom. Oh, yeah. Get destroyed. Boom. All right. Seems pretty easy for me. Like like stone. I still don't know what like like stones are for, but I... Got a prop, so I oh, don't know. So, so useful. I'm so glad that I fought that like, like, I'm so glad that I wasted time in this episode to fight that like, like, I'm so glad that I'm wasting even more time in this episode by talking about it. All right, I'm done with Cornell Hills. Yeah, I'm going over this way. I'm actually gonna just walk over there. Oh, Cora. Ah, hello. Let's, let's get this. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah, bye bye. I'm at a uh, even 50 now. I'm going up here to the shrine. I know I could just teleport to it, but what? Oh. Wait, what? What just happened? Oh, there was a f oh flower. We're going this way. Yes, I am. Okay. And the final one is over here. Jeez. Distractions, distractions, but Koroks are good. Koroks are nice. I'll get all the Koroks and I'll be oh so spice. We continue on this way. I guess this is part of why you don't teleport because I was literally just complaining about the fact that it's taken me a while to get there because I'm not teleporting. But then while I was complaining, I came across a Korok. The shrine is at the top of this peak. Also, let's get that. Yeah, no. Ho, 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 ho. Look at that silver moblin. This guy's the only one that can actually do some decent damage to me. Also, I heard a rock land, possibly. No. Ow. Oh, yes, I did. And here it is. See you later, losers. There's a shrine. Is that in a cave? I think it is. There's also another Korok. Yep, under this rock. Man, I'm spawning them everywhere now that I'm just kind of going around. I didn't mean for this to be a kind of a Korok hunt episode. All right, I think the shrine is in Kronopi Cave. Um, oh, that's a bunch of boss bacoblings. Um, here it is. This was such a long journey that I think I am just going to teleport to the next shrine. Jeez. Oh, it's a proving grounds. Let's go. Man, rotation, huh? Oh, man, I almost remember coming across these and deciding not to do them. Okay, so there's a chest nearby. Don't have a bow. It's all right. You can alert everyone. One, but you're still gonna be ugly. Yeah. Oh, you dropped the bow. That's okay. Ow, 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 ow. Hold on. That's okay. Now that I've activated you myself, you work for me, don't you? Let's recall this. Meant to just drop that. Oh, that got destroyed. Whoops. Oh, you're not gonna do anything to me. Boom, boom. <laughs> Give me this bow. I don't have any arrows. Boom. Oh, man. I'm so good at fighting constructs that it's scary. Uh, I just need to endure the flames. And I'm good. Get a rusty shield. Cannon shield, huh? I like the idea of a cannon shield. Let's activate this guy. Let's bring him down here. Come on. Ow. Yes, 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 yes. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. <laughs> now. <laughs> Oh, you thought you were going to hit me with that? No, 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 buddy. Now. Oh, come on. Hit him. Man, cannon shield sucks. Come on. Well, I did it. Oh, there's more constructs, though. Down below? Oh, yes, down below. Oh, oh, okay. Weapons. Some bomb flowers as well. I don't mind that. But I also don't mind having a bit of a flame guy. Oh, you're stuck. You're trapped. Oh, you're trapped. Oh, what are you going to do? You can't come to attack me. Oh, his AI is stuck. His AI is stuck. He's doing a jig. He's dancing to the song. Oh, see? There you go. What are you going to do, huh? What are you going to do? Come back over here. We'll play Ring Around a Rosie. 
We're gonna play Ring Around the Rosie. <laughs> okay, so there we go. I get my equipment back. Skill I do not lack. Yes, my rhymes are kind of whack, but I hit those enemies with the smack. Magic rod. Okay. I'm no magic man. I'm a normal man. Then again, I don't think you can call Link a normal man. Or me, by the... <laughs> Alright, and I said I was gonna teleport to the next one, but I think we actually can't just kind of walk over there. It's really close by. It's like right on over here, literally in these wetlands. Yeah, it's right there. You know, sometimes when I play this game, I think to myself, man, I wish I could walk faster, you know? Then I remember, I'm stupid, you can build vehicles in this game, but I'm stingy with my Zonai parts. I don't want to build vehicles constantly. Then again, we're in episode 95. There's only five episodes left of the series. Maybe it comes to a point where I should should just use vehicles to get everywhere and also destroy this guy uh oh uh oh come on dang it <laughs> i was trying i was gonna try to get out of the menu and dodge it but that didn't work no you're not gonna do that swinging attack on me you're all gonna get mowed down <laughs> all right okay get all these ugly weapons i'm also gonna discover this well oh this well has nothing in it absolutely nothing at all oh 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 Okay, this is the garrison. I see. There used to be prisoners in here. Also, how do I get in there? Whoa. Is this a breakable wall? Is not a breakable wall? If It looks like it should be a breakable wall. But, you know, but like, by Zelda standards. It is. That's crazy. The first breakable wall in this game that actually looks kind of like a, a classic Zelda breakable wall and not those weird rocks. That's cool. 55. Dang, it's not actually a shield I need. Okay, though. All right, well, out of here. Ah, oh, hello. <laughs> thanks, Minoru. Also, thanks for this as well. Tulin. I know I've already got this guy. This is the one that I got in the time lapse a couple episodes ago. I had to put this up with nothing but boulders. Oh, yeah. I also discovered this shrine in the time lapse as well and fought those guys over there. I should do more time lapses. I don't need time to do time lapses. And a lot of my time is spent editing these videos because I'm uploading every day. Ooh, deep force, huh? Okay, so I assume I should be bringing this with me. Ah, this is cool because this is what you do at the pool. If you have like a balloon or some inflatable thing, you just push it down to the bottom of the pool and then let it go up like an inflatable ball or something. That's always fun. This is one of those things that you never see in the overworld. These uh, inflatable balls. It'll be kind of funny is if I attach the float to my shield. Is it bouncy? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, maybe I shouldn't have attached it. Okay, this is just water. I don't need... Aha. Uh -huh. I knew there had to be a reason this water was here. Who needs magnesis? Ultra Hand is literally just magnesis, but a million times better. Ooh, pretty good. I like that. Me likey. Oh, floater platform, huh? That's cool. Oh, it's not as it's not as good though. Maybe. <laughs> dynamics what's cool is that the zelda team didn't code the objects that act like this like i remember they they tried to just code vehicles to work in the game but they were extremely extremely buggy and would just kind of flop around everywhere so what zelda team had to do in the end was they just kind of they're like okay the physics are buggy let's just code in physics <laughs> they quite literally just coded physics in the game oh i don't even know what i was doing but i'm doing something oh, boom yeah and i can also land on here and then recall <laughs> let's go flying up let's go flying up come on oh no not yet we're still bouncing oh okay and here we go done with this shrine like glad i'm doing these now because it's definitely taking me a while i'm not gonna finish all of the shrines in just one episode i think definitely i should just teleport to the shrines from now on right i mean there is one right here though i could just well, i'm teleporting to it i'm teleporting <laughs> I don't want to spend a million years. Okay. Hellbore, and we go in the shrine. What is this? Forward force. Deep force. Pretty sure there's one that's like downward force or upward force. Forward force, huh? Seems familiar. Oh, lava. Okay, this is the end of the shrine. To make my way all the way around? Seems like it. This is yet another vehicle on lava type shrine, which I suppose I don't mind. Let's go here. Ow, ow, ow. That's hot. All right. Now what are we doing? Huh. Something interesting. How is this going to work? I attach just like this. No. Is that possible? Ah, oh, I thought I figured figured something out. I thought the wheel would have friction with that and then pull the thing upwards. Not how it works, though. I need to do something like this and then this. No. I'm actually stumped with how I want to get this to work. I feel like it's supposed to be something really obvious. Attaching this to the... Hmm. Wait a minute. What if I... No way! Is that really what you're supposed to do? No way. <laughs> no way, I just figured it out. So I attach this ball here, attach this here, and then activate it. No way. No way. <laughs> 
That was the most creative use of the wheel this game has had me do so far. There's a chest somewhere over here. Oh man, <laughs> that was funny. Where's the chest? Aha. Uh -huh. Chest is up here. Oh, wait, it's below. Where's the chest? I'm confused. Aha. Uh -huh. Hello, chest. What do you have for me? A mighty Zonite sword? It's probably better than something I have. Oh yeah. Now, will this go for... Whoops. Probably should have thought about that. Um, yeah, okay. Let's uh, get rid of this. I think what this game wants me to do is create this. Does this actually work like this? Does this game have like water physics that work like this? If so, then I've been missing out with boat designs. Let me make sure to uh, not... What? <laughs> what in the world? Okay, this is super janky, but probably just because of my design. Uh, I think I was supposed to make this better. Uh, can I just bring this over here? Is that gonna sink? Oh, it's not gonna sink. Oh no, it is gonna get swept away though by the water. It's okay, I have a whole bunch of stamina. Come on, I can grab this. No, I can recall it and hand it to myself. <laughs> do I just need to do that. Okay. Oh, there we go. Now we completed the shrine. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Okay, Rauru, Sonya whoever you got making these shrines good job in reality it's zelda team Bum, ba -da -da -da. but i wonder who specifically works on the shrines it's probably like a specific team like group of people in the zelda team they're designing the puzzles probably in the credits as like level designers all right with this type of game there's two types of level design because there's the overworld level design and then there's the shrine level design also there's this table right here that means that i teleported to this shrine like two episodes ago oh where are you running off to sorry i'm letting myself get distracted nasty monster hasn't shown its face around here again thanks to you i don't need to worry anymore everything would be perfect and my brothers were more helpful brothers yep isra and yolero oh isra i remember isra they're no hope at all isra went looking for some farming tools he lent to princess zelda and yolero's locking off somewhere i haven't seen him around ah uh, but don't worry i can do enough work for the three of us you can rely on wetland stable anytime you're in the area well they're slacking off somewhere i uh, guess this is the first picture that i did it's also a chest this way oh towards this cora Clark, where are you trying to go oh you're the far away cora uh, maybe i will help him i guess if i need i can't just get barry oh this is my, what first time here since when thanks to your link i got that painting you wanted a ring garland a picture of the ring ruins feels great to have all these ruins right here now then once again oh. taking out barry Pona's back in the stable and barry's right here because barry is my korok helper yeah let's change the bridle we suddenly have a whole bunch more oh so there's a knight's bridle the extravagant bridle <laughs> knight's bridle looks really cool the extravagant bridle is also really funny i think i'll put the extravagant bridle now the equipment i don't think i can change because it's stuck with the towing harness if i change it to any other saddle you can't have the towing harness and the saddle at the same time so i think that's good i think if you decided where you head next perhaps the beautiful city of water zora's domain i also recommend kakariko village yeah i know i've been everywhere i'm an explorer now the chest over here is just a monster camp let's get this korok seated down this road oh back over here once again where i first discovered gloom hands and phantom ganon the most terrifying introduction to an enemy in my life so i was pretty terrified when i came across horriblins for the first time as well all right here you go <laughs> there we go two more korok seeds bye bye and so i think in this episode we are going to do one more shrine and that will be the shrine down by lurland village bye barry sorry to leave you stranded by a monster camp hope you're all right all right oh i'm getting very distracted all right where am i going <laughs> i have to go into the shrine dummy i let myself get very distracted so i didn't actually do as many shrines as i maybe could have in today's episode oh this is the blessing shrine. what did i do to get this i don't know but give me a big battery oh huh, weird usually i can tell when it's going to be a blessing shrine i guess i couldn't for some reason do blessing shrines light of blessing okay see this is why i wish blessing shrines looked different than regular shrines what did i do to get over here i mean there's a bunch of rock likes oh yeah this is that one cave one cave that was super annoying i still haven't found the bubble frog here which is weird usually i can do a pretty decent job of finding bubble frogs hello ow i'm getting distracted once again but i need to know i'd like to know why there's a bit of a gap up here could this be where the bubble frog is no there's nothing else up here uh -oh. i jumped into that one this would have been a good spot for a bubble frog to be though Ow. So I don't have any pictures of bubble frogs. I can't look at it that way. Huh. No, just no bubble frog anywhere. So strange. Hmm. I'm not sure. No, please. There's no breakable rocks anywhere. Oh. Oh my gosh. It's right here. Bubble frog. I spent a long time looking for you in the episode I found this cave. Too long in this episode as well. We're doing one final shrine. That's this one. Joju Uu shrine. All right. Let's go in here. All right. Not a blessing shrine. Building bridges. Okay. Usually pretty good at doing that. I mean, you had to do that in the fire temple so it's not that hard 
<laughs> okay. Is this bridge over here? This bridge up here? No. So the bridge like this is too flimsy. I need some way to make it not flimsy. Aha. This. Oh. Ow. Come on. What? Why is that happening? Come on. There. That should work. It's a little bit bouncier than I wanted, but it is like those little rope, those little bridges, those rope bridges you have in those old wooden playgrounds. Okay, what chest am I trying to get? There. Bring this bridge around here. Ah, of course. It needs a cube to the end. All it needed was just a bit of weight at the end. It's fine. I know all about weight. I have a lot of it. Go up here. And boom, a simple rope bridge. Jump up here with. Ah, there's the. Ah, okay. I need to detach? No. Hmm. Oh. I just need to do that. <laughs> okay, simple enough. Never thought it. Large zonite. Okay. Yeah, that was simple enough reward for a simple enough puzzle. Okay. Haru, Sonia, give me my light of blessing. All right. Of course, I'm by the stable as well. King Gleok over there in the distance. But I guess with that, that is going to be the end of this episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Of course, before we end off this episode, we're going to scan, get the mighty bananas for, uh, first. Get all these. Get all these. And we're going to scan the amiibo for today, which since we're down to the last five episodes i'm actually going to choose the amiibo we're going to scan oh my gosh of course i'm getting a blood moon wild looking for the amiibo get on with it okay today we're going to scan wind waker zelda this chest open and we got a ruby okay in the next episode of course we're going to keep on doing more shrines in hyrule hopefully much faster but i also will let myself get distracted as well finding koroks and things like that i don't know what this is about i think there's six shrines around here that i've discovered but haven't done but there are definitely a lot more shrines that i just haven't discovered at all which i do need to go find but i'm pretty excited to keep on looking for shrines keep on exploring and just get as much done as possible in the next three episodes before we do some epic boss rematches and then in the final episode of fight ganondorf himself i hope you guys are excited joining me on the final search of this series as well and if you are then of course remember to like comment and subscribe hit that bell so you know i'm gonna upload a video links for everything else will be in the description below and i will see you later awesome mates. goodbye